Hello and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and I want to inform you that I am starting a new blog. I invite you to visit it since I will be writing interesting information such as the inspiration to do this work of art and the materials I use and stuff like that. The link is below. And for today, I'll draw a rose that wants to get out of the paper. I start by sketching the stems and the leaves of the three roses that I will draw. The first one will be almost a bud and will have petals on both sides. The second one will be similar but with the petals on a spiral, one over another. I'll draw some small leaves on the base. And the third one will be a little bit more open and slightly facing toward us. I detail the leaves a little bit more. And I start to shadow. Generally, the parts that are further back or further in are darker. I smudge what I did with a soft brush. As there were some black spots left, I cleaned them up with a kneaded eraser. I draw the edges of a piece of paper where the roses are going to be on. I want the center one to pass the paper, but not the other ones, so I make it shorter. I'll try to give the illusion as if it were getting out of the paper, while the other two will remain just sketched. I also do shadows on my fictitious piece of paper so it looks more realistic. I fill in the background. In this case I use a cotton to smudge. I also go on the paper to give it a light tone. I sharpen my edges a little bit better and make some shadows to make it look as if it were lifting. With the eraser, I pull some lights to make it look as if it were creased. I'll reinforce the lines so it looks better. I pull some more lights. I didn't like this shadow very much, so I'll erase it. I decided to make two more leaves and a thinner shadow. You may find the list of materials in the blog. I need the stem to look more like a 3D cylinder, so I work on that. I fine-tune the last details and it's ready. I would love to know what do you think about it.
you know what to do, you know where to follow me, you know where the links are at, and you know when to look for the next tutorial. Bye-bye.